Welcome to the first section of creating a new active load. Starting with the first section of new active load window. Under the load information tab, we see a number of boxes we need to complete. Our first box on the form is the load number. This will be automatically populated for us and will not need any inputted information. The bill to can be filled out in two ways. If we don't already have this customer saved into the system, then we need to click the green plus sign icon. All the sections with the red asterisks are required. After we are finished with all the customer's information, click save. Notice this customer didn't auto populate in the text box. We now need to search for that customer by entering the first few letters of our customer's name and click on the correct one. If our customer is already in the database, then just enter the first few letters of the customer's name to find them. Our next box is the dispatcher box, which is automatically populated for us as well. The sales rep section is optional. If we choose to enter this information, we can add up to two sales reps. Using the drop down menu, click the sales rep's name to calculate their commission. The status will always show open since this is a new load being added. The work order box is optional. Type and rate are both required fields. Here we need to enter the type of haul needed and the flat rate amount we are charging our customer. The P slash D, pick and drops, FSC, fuel surcharge, other charges are all optional text boxes. In the picks and drops and fuel surcharge text boxes, we can enter the dollar amount. If we want to add other charges, click the blue dollar sign icon. This will open up a pop-up where we can enter other charges or advances. Click OK when finished. Notice that if we add information to these optional text boxes, the rate changes. For a driver load, click on the driver bubble. We can add a driver two ways. If we don't already have a driver saved into the system, then we need to click the green plus sign icon. All the sections with the red asterisks are required. After we are finished with all the driver's information, click Save. Notice this driver did not auto-populate in the text box. Click the drop-down menu and select the driver we are wanting to add. Now, enter the equipment type. The final three text boxes are all optional. We can add trucks and trailers that are not already in our system by clicking the green plus sign icon and entering all required information. Notice the house icon. This works two ways. First, if we select a truck that has completed a load, then the starting location is shown above the house based on that truck's previous finished location. Second, we can manually add a start location here by clicking on the house icon. Click next to move on to filling out the shipper information.